everyone and welcome to another how to on Microsoft Teams. My name is Jess and for this video I'm going to show you how once you have recorded and ended a session with your students or with colleagues via a meet now function or even if you decided to do the calendar invite um, once you're done recording and once you're done with that session that video is automatically uploaded onto Microsoft Stream. So for this how-to video I'm going to show you how to access that. First, if you did it through your practice class or whichever class you're doing, um, it will show up underneath the channels. So you'll have access to it right here and your students will be able to click it. This is the live session demo. You can see it was really short because I was doing the previous how-to on how to meet now. So check that video out if you need to figure out how to meet now. So you can play it this way if you would like it will upload as a pop-up um, and you will see the different likes and just like a social media recording, session it's already pending it will so you can see that I was recording the how-to the other way you can access this is going into online you will get an email notification saying that your meeting recording is here dependent on bandwidth sometimes this takes time the other way you can access it is by going up here to your waffle in the left hand side, click that, and you have to find stream. So I'm going to click all apps, stream, it is a pinkish reddish arrow, click that, and it will sign you into your account. you will have all of these functions on here and if you notice Microsoft team it operates a lot like YouTube so my top thing right here is it tells me what's trending but in addition up here under my content that's where you want to go my content my videos and you will see the live session demo that I created again just like YouTube it will give you add to watch list, add group to channel, update video details, and more actions. So more actions gives you the sharing link as well as the delete and you also have the ability to trim the video. So if you allow time for students to talk at the end and get out their socialization, then you can trim that out. If you only want the students to see a chunk of it, you can trim that again. Other things you will see is with the meetings, meetings are also recorded here if you chose to record that meeting. Remember, that is a function you have to choose when you go in to your class meeting. You've got follow channels, watch lists, and everything else. So that is an overview of Microsoft Stream. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you have any further questions on how to access your recorded video, please let me know. Don't hesitate to ask. I will do my best to record another how-to. Thank you.